Sherlock, and thank you for welcoming my guests uh, from County Loud today. It's for two of this minister that I happen to be speaking in the Senate at the same time that they are there, but there are three or four tours coming uh, after them as well. We have such a good group up. Minister, I've spoken to quite a number of retailers and shopkeepers, not just in my hometown of Dundalk, but right throughout County Louth. Uh, and some of the aspects of this bill is certainly a concern for them, and they wanted me to be able to raise these directly with you. And I have four points and four questions which you may be able to elaborate on in your contribution to the House at the end of it. Uh, the first issue that people have spoken to you about really is around the cost of licences and some of the issues around that. And namely that shop owners have stressed the importance to me that the licence fee covers the cost of administrating the licence only, and that it doesn't become a de facto sales tax, for want of a better word. Um, and one of the queries that I'd have is, can you provide information on how the licence fee would be decided upon? How is that decision actually made? I think that would be useful to know. In terms of the sale of the bigger boxes of cigarettes, again, the Revenue Commissioner's figures show that the sale of large boxes have increased year on year since their introduction in 2012, nearly a decade ago, and that accounts for 35% of all cigarette sales here in the island of Ireland. So new research also shows that the bigger boxes are actually the driver, naturally enough, of greater consumption. Uh, and that's completely contrary to government policy, uh, which has a direct, direct negative consequence for addiction and health outcomes in Ireland. So again, the question I would there is, would you, Minister, consider banning bigger boxes of cigarettes so that we have some chance of meeting our targets to eliminate smoking by 2025 and thereafter? Thirdly, again, I believe, uh, and again, many shop owners in the dock said the same thing to me, there certainly is a role for the revenue commissioners in this process. Revenue collects the licence fees from many different commercial sources. And I would wonder, has the Minister, have you yourself, Minister, considered allowing the revenue commissioners to administer, administer this licence themselves? rather than the HSE, because they already have, being revenue commissioners, have an established relationship with businesses. They could roll it out much easier, and I think it would be something that would be really useful if it was done by revenue commissioners as opposed to the HSE. And finally, uh, the final point that was raised with me is in relation to uh, to shop closures. So in the event where a shop closes for whatever specific reason, um, or if the shop, for example, was transferred uh, through a sale, will you uh, or will the department be able to allow for a pro rata refund of the licence fee for the time period that it was not in use? Um, I think those four queries are queries that I've brought to you, Minister, directly from retailers uh, in County Louth. Um, and uh, I'm just glad that I had the opportunity to put this on the record of the House, and I would appreciate perhaps uh, not even your comments at the end of the debate, but perhaps in writing at some stage in the future to the four specific queries. Thank you.